This distinctively shaped landmass jutting out into the Arabian Sea is known as the Horn of Africa. It's one of the poorest areas in the world, yet when it comes to wildlife, it has riches in abundance. It is home to species found nowhere else. This biodiversity underpins all life on Earth. Without it, there would be no air to breathe, no food to eat, no water to drink. And as with so many other parts of the world, it is under threat. With only about 5% of its original habitat remaining, the Horn is one of the most degraded areas on the planet. Pressures come from humans and nature. Back in 1986, one year after the infamous Ethiopian drought, leaders from the region came together to form a joint organization to mitigate these recurring disasters. The Intergovernmental Authority on Development, or IGAD, was formed to alleviate poverty and promote sustainable development in the region. And one of its fundamental policy pillars is environmental protection. In 2012, working with a number of local partners, IGAD conceived an ambitious biodiversity management program. Its mission? To preserve these fragile ecosystems through sustainable management. The program is financed by the European Union with a total budget of 14 million euros. Biodiversity management program. Its aim is really to promote regional cooperation in conserving biodiverse resources in the region. The purpose of BMP is really to enhance cross-border cooperation between the communities on both sides of each country in the region. Biodiversity is the basis for our livelihood anywhere. If you want to ensure food security, you have to really manage the species, the types of species that are important in agriculture. The project is aiming really to bring to the attention of the communities that if they can sustainably manage their biodiverse resources, then it can help them also maintain and support their livelihood. When we look at, uh, at IGAD, of course we see its role in peacemaking, in stability, in economic cooperation, in uh, facing most important challenges related to economic development, but also to eradication of poverty and, uh, of course, uh, strengthening of uh, interstate cooperation, transboundary cooperation and uh, the regional integration as a whole. We consider IGAT uh, as a very promising project and we believe that it's an organization that can potentially really contribute to the integration of the Horn of Africa. Like so much of Africa, national borders created by previous colonial powers gave little regard to its landscapes or ethnicities of its people. So decisions made centuries ago have negative impacts which are felt to this day. But IGAD considers ethnic continuity across national borders a positive strength. Threats to the region's biodiversity come from many sources, but IGAD's biodiversity management program has identified human activity as the single biggest threat. There are a number of threats on biodiversity in the region. The main one is uh, really the population growth. The population is increasing at a high rate. As a result of that, there is a need for energy. So the population is really cutting all vegetative cover to get energy sources like fuel wood, charcoal, and so on. The population is also looking also for agricultural land. So encroachment of agriculture to biodiverse resources is also a threat. Climate change is a threat. Invasive species, species coming from outside and dominating the biodiverse resources in the region is a threat. There are so many types of threats. The Biodiversity Management Programme seeks to mitigate these threats by advising national governments in the region. But persuading these countries to sign up to a joint region-wide policy is no mean feat. Getting the member states to work together in sensitive topics uh, like the environment, uh, like borderland developments, like biodiversity management, has, has been a big deal, and it is a big deal. And now the member states accept uh, policies have been uh, formulated uh, as a result of um, uh, this work that IGAD Secretariat has undertaken in uh, the last couple of years. Uh, but that's only phase one. 
Now we get into the more difficult aspect of the work, which is to operationalize some of the lessons learned and the output into in the member states themselves. With the completion of phase one of the program, the moment to put the policy into action has arrived. And to do this, IGAD has placed the involvement of local communities at the heart of implementation. Local communities participation is very important because the main objective is to enhance the life and the livelihood of the local communities living in those areas. Biodiversity uh, resources are uh, the main asset for uh, their livelihood. So conservation of biodiversity in the long run and uh, uh, its management uh, in a sustainable manner is the guarantee of improving the life and the livelihood of the population. The benefits of involving the local community is mainly the sustainability of the project. If they know and they own it, then they are ready to sustain it. And uh, if they sustain it, also they know that it's going to, sub to support their livelihood. The BMP project is ambitious in scale. But with the recent agreement of member states, a huge hurdle has already been crossed. And in the years ahead, the need to sustain cross-border cooperation will underpin every aspect of this work. To find out more about IGAD's work, the following films highlight locations where the Biodiversity Management Programme is now in operation.